Hi, my name is Shawful and welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the world of data. So in this video, something I want to tackle is actually a question that I just got asked recently, which was, should you start your own data analytics consultancy? Now, in a previous video, I talked about how you should start a data analytics consultancy, assuming that you wanted to do it. But someone asked me, should they do it? So they're, they're doing an analytics job and they're wondering if they should actually start their own data analytics consultancy. And the feedback I gave back to them was, Think about the motivation for wanting to do your, for wanting to start your own data analytics consultancy. Um, if it's about making more money, then you might find that actually staying in your job, you probably make more money, or going freelance. Okay, um, it will help you. You know, you know, will give you more money because you may make more money. Starting your analytics consultancy doesn't necessarily mean that you make more money. Okay, that's one thing just to um, bear in mind if you're thinking about. Uh, uh, you know, starting your own analytics consultancy. The second thing about you know. Uh, that you might be considering as a motivation is that you want to be your own boss. And again, the advice I give is that that's not necessarily the case. Because whenever you start your own analytics consultancy, um, you do have a boss and they're your clients, okay? And, you know, unfortunately, you will be up against the same pressure that you probably had at work, okay? Tight deadlines, um, you know, you, you, you might be asked to do certain things that, um, you know, you just don't have time, time to do it or it's complicated and you need to do a bit of research. So you find that you're not necessarily your own boss um, and you may not necessarily have control over your own time because, um, you know, you, you're having to meet uh, the, the, the timelines, the expectations of your clients. OK, now that may change over a longer period of time when you build a team and stuff. But in the early days, that's just something worth bearing in mind. Are you if you think that from day one, you're going to be your own boss and you're going to be able to manage your own time? Um, that may not be the case. OK, so if you want revenue, then you have to take projects on. OK, um, and, and, and that will mean that you'd have to uh, accommodate the, the, the needs and uh, timelines of your clients. Now, saying that it does mean that you get to choose projects. OK, so if you're in the job, you might not be able to choose the projects because you've got to do the projects that your team's been assigned to do. But if you start your own analytics consultants, you can actually choose your project. And one of the good things about that is, let's say you, you choose to do a certain type of project. Uh, let's say you, you, you know, you're very good at building predictive models or you're very good at building churn models in particular or segmentation, whatever it is, you're very good at doing that. Um, and then you build a team around that. What happens is that you become really good experts at it um, and then clients get to know that you're really good at it and then you get more clients through referrals um, and, and you become known as, as the uh, agency that does this. Um, and then, like I said, you build a team around that and so therefore they're really good at it. And so therefore you build really deep, deep expertise um, so you know you, you, even though you know you may not be your own boss or, or sorry you are your own boss but you may not have control over your own time and you are um, uh, you know tw uh, reacting to the demands of your client um, you you know you, you will at least get to, you will at least get to choose your own project so that's a good thing um, if you're thinking about if, if that's one of the motivations why you want to start your own analytics consultancy but apart from the motivation of why you want to do it okay so like I said is it the money is it you know control of your time is it being your own boss the other thing you would ask yourself is that what are you prepared to do so as a data analyst you probably hardly have to worry about admin stuff okay so doing payroll taxes uh, you know recruiting people well, you probably have to do recruitment but you know d d d certain things that running a business entails that you may not be prepared for so you just need to make sure that if you, if you want to start your analytics consultancy are you prepared to do all this paperwork there's a lot of admin work um, that's required okay so you know in, in my in my analytics consultancy you know I have to spend at least two days a month uh, doing all the admin work payroll taxes all that kind of stuff so are you prepared uh, to do that the other thing is when you um, when you, if you are considering starting an analytics consultancy, is that are you willing to hand over uh, things that you would like to do? So you may love running models, you may love doing this, but what you find is that over time as you grow, you will need to hand over that task to other people, let people do the fun stuff, and you potentially have to do all the management oversight and stuff. If you're not prepared to do that, then again, think about whether you know you should stay in your job or whether you should go freelance, okay? Um, because you know starting your own consultancy does mean that you need to hand over some of the uh, more technical stuff to team members as you take over more or management and oversight uh, type of things. But like I said, in this video, I'm really talking about should you start your analytics consultancy. So consider what is your motivation for wanting to do it, okay? Um, you know, and then see if that is if, if that if that will realise. If it's about more money, if it's about you know more control over your time, that may not be the case, especially in the early days. So are you willing to um, sacrifice that? You know, spend more time. Uh, are you willing to even take a pay cut um, to, to 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 start this analytics consultancy? Okay. The other thing is, what are you prepared to do as well? You know, if you've been an list all your career and you'd suddenly now have to do a lot of admin work are you prepared to do that are you also prepared to hand over things to other people to do that um, you know you love doing yourself okay uh, especially if you are, if you are in charge of the analytics consultancy and you need to manage it
Okay, so those are the sort of two things that I would ask you to consider before you think about wanting to start your own analytics consultancy. Thank you for listening to my video. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you have any questions or any further questions about um, this topic, please do jot them down in the comment section below. Um, again, please do subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much.